Hi, I'm Conrad Houghton and this is uh, lecture five in the probability and combinatorics section of Mathematics for Computer Science A. Uh, this lecture will be about conditional probability. Conditional probability uh, is fairly straightforward after you've looked at an example. So uh, the Booker Prize was announced uh, uh, a couple of days ago, so I, I thought I'd take an example about um, prizes. And the uh, thing I discovered, uh, which is really quite shocking, is just how sexist the Nobel Prize for Literature is. 117 individuals have won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Of those, only 16 have been women. So 16 over 117 is about 0 0.14. That's what, less than one in seven. And so if you chose a Nobel Prize winner at random, there is only a 0 0.14 uh, chance that that person uh, will be a woman. Um, the Booker Prize might be a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to look at something slightly more restricted, which is the people who've won, won both the Booker Prize and the Nobel Prize for Literature. So there are um, seven uh, such people, and of that seven, three are women. So if you choose at random a Booker Prize, Nobel Prize win, winner uh, for literature, uh, well, there's seven to choose from, three of them are women, and so the probability is 0 0.43, closer to the 0 0.5 that it should be. And that's uh, a sort of special subset of, of Booker Prize winners, uh, but it will do well for our purposes. Uh, just a note in passing, uh, those three uh, women who have won both the Booker Prize and the Nobel Prize for Literature are Doris Lessing, Alice Munro, uh, Nadine Gordimer. You can easily think of many male writers who've won uh, either of those prizes who are uh, less brilliant than those three. So this describes our situation. This, uh, this square here is supposed to be the whole set. It's a set of Nobel Prize winners for literature. And uh, there's 117 of those in total. And we have two uh, subsets. So when we're talking about this in, in probability terms, there are two events. One event, uh, one subset are the um, female winners of the Nobel Prize. And another subset are the Booker Prize winners who also won uh, the Nobel Prize for literature. And uh, there are 17, there are 16 women uh, seven, seven Booker Prize winners, but there's an intersection. So this, um, the union of those two sets uh, takes up 20. And so there's 97 uh, Nobel Prize winners who don't belong to either the woman subset or the Booker Prize subset. So um, again, uh, looking back to what we learned about probabilities, we're uh, dealing with events here. Uh, this is the uh, event of being a woman. Uh, this is the event of being a Booker Prize winner. So if you ask what's the probability that a, a, a Nobel Prize winner chosen at random, a Nobel Prize for Literature winner chosen at random, uh, will be a woman. Well, that's, uh, this is the probability that you will uh, end up with an element in that set. The set contains uh, 16. You're choosing a one at random, and so the probability is 16 over 117, uh, and that, as we said before, is 0 0.14. Uh, what about the probability that uh, if you chose somebody at random, they'll be uh, either uh, a woman uh, or uh, a Booker Prize winner and or a Booker Prize winner. Well, uh, then we're asking what's the probability that uh, the, the uh, person you choose at random will come from this event, the event formed by the uh, union uh, of women uh, and Booker Prize winners. And so that, uh, that union, uh, W union B, that's the whole set here colored, colored in blue. There's 20 of those, 20 divided by 117 is about uh, 0.17. And so, uh, you know, when we're dealing with events, uh, unions take the place of uh, ands when we're talking about probabilities. So what's the probability, uh, sorry, of or. So what's the probability of a woman or a Booker Prize winner? Well, that's somebody from uh, either of the two events. So it's the probability of W union B, to remind you this cap symbol uh, is union, uh, and that, as we just said, is 0 0.17. Uh, here's the much more exclusive. Uh, this is the uh, intersection. So this is, uh, to be in this intersection, uh, the prize winner has to be both a woman and a Booker Prize winner. That's what the intersection means. It's uh, points that have this, both the properties. And so uh, the intersection is the same as and. Uh, something in the intersection belongs to both events. So the event of um, being a woman and a Booker Prize winner, uh, in other words, the event of being in W intersection B, uh, is, uh, is these, these covers these three people here, and so the probability there is 3 over 1.17, which is about 0 0.03. Now, what we want to talk about today is what happens if you know that uh, the prize winner 
is a, a, that the Nobel Prize winner you've chosen is a Booker Prize winner. In other words, you know that the, the, the winner you've chosen is in this circle here. Then what is the probability that they are, that they are also a woman? So what we're asking is, what's the probability uh, that you um, have picked a woman given that you've picked a book? given that you've picked a Booker Prize winner. That's the conditional probability. Now we'll see, we have a mathematical symbol for given, but for now, uh, let's use the language. So what's the probability of, a, uh, of W given B? You know that you've chosen from B, you want to know uh, the probability that the point you've chosen from B is actually in the intersection of B and W. And you can see straightforwardly here that um, we want to ask what is, uh, what is the size of the intersection relative to the size of the whole set. So the size of the whole set is seven, the size of the intersection is three, and so the probability is three over seven, which as we've described before, is 0 0.43. So that is the probability of W given B. And this is the mathematical language for it, it's the conditional probability. Uh, the conditional probability, so if you have two events A and B, then the probability of A given B, in other words, the probability that if you, if you are in this, the event B, you are also in the event A, well, that's the probability that you're in the event uh, A and the, and the event B, in other words, the probability of A intersection B, divided by uh, the probability of B. So uh, here we've replaced this, what we've just called given before, uh, with the mathematical symbol, this upright line, and we've defined this new ob object, the uh, conditional probability, the probability of A conditioned on B, or given B is the probability of A uh, and B divided by the probability of B. And we can uh, go through the calculation we just did again uh, uh, in this case. So the probability of W given B, the probability of a, a woman winner given that they're a Booker Prize winner, is the probability of W intersection B, uh, which is this thing here, which is 3 over uh, 117, divided by the probability of B, which is uh, the 7 over 117, which as before is 3 over 7, which is 0 0.43. So you can see that the uh, what we're doing is we're working out what this is as a fraction of the of the whole event. What the intersection is a fraction of the whole event. Before we just looked at the number of points in this intersection and the number of points in the whole event. Um, that relies on us dealing with uh, points, etc. A more general way of doing it is to say how big is um, this intersection relative to the whole whole event. And the way that we measure the size of uh, things, events inside a probability space is with the probability. So. We are asking how big is this area here? Well, that's the we'll measure that area as the probability of W intersection B relative to this area here, where we're measuring that by the probability of B. So this uh, definition here performs the normalization. How big is is the intersection relative to the set? Uh, and as you can see, it gives us this 0 0.43. So finally, um, before we stop, we can multiply across. The, the rules. So if we multiply across by the uh, P of B, we get that A intersection B is the probability of A given B multiplied by the probability of B. And that makes sense. That says that the probability of A and B, well, that's equal to the probability of B and the probability that given you have B, you get A. So uh, you can see how sensible uh, this definition is. The probability of A and B is the probability of B, then given that you have B, the probability uh, that you get A. So uh, that's it. Quick lecture, uh, I'll do another lecture with uh, a couple of examples. Thank you very much.